Hello everyone, my name is John Minisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I'm going to teach you on how to create this wonderful painting. tutorial I am going to teach you on how to paint a soil landscape so I'm going to plan to paint um, a castle guys um, on and it, a little uh, part of it will be submerged on the water on the water or something like that and I'm going to put a boat or a, a sailing boat guys or or uh, some fish like whales or other um, um other creatures found on the underwater okay so i'm not yet sure guys what i'm going to put anyway so let us just see and just um observe or or just with me luck guys on the outcome of this painting so okay so um but before that i am going to introduce to you first the materials that i'm going to use in this tutorial okay so I'll still be using limited colors in my palette and I have here the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the burnt china. So I recommend I'm um, using burnt umber because it's way darker than than burnt china and when you when you create black or dark colors you can have just um, use burnt umber and tallow blue to make a dark uh, paint. Unlike I'm um, using the bone chain guys, I need red to make it darker. Okay. So these are my brushes. So I will be using the number eleven nylon flat brush, long handled, number eleven bristle flat brush, long handled, number eight um, nylon flat brush, long handled number six nylon flat brush short handled number two nylon round brush um, for the details and number zero round brush for the details guys you can also use number one double zero or triple zeros okay so those are just the possible brushes that i'm gonna use in the tutorial guys but not all of it um i think i'm going to use so I have here water to tint the paint. This is my canvas. It's um, 10 by 12 inches. It's a three of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made that myself. And water spray, guys, if I were gonna need this. Okay, that's all. So I think I'm not sure, guys, if we're going to use chalk um, later, but um, maybe we're going to use some chalk. Okay. So. I think I'm going to start now. I'm going to start with the background colors. Okay, and first I'm going to use this brush. This is the number 11 nylon flat brush. And let's start painting the background. I'm going to make the back, um, a little uh, yellowish background, guys. Yellowish sky, like an afternoon scene or something like that. Okay, so of course we're going to need some yellow and red to make some orange more yellow and some white to make it more uh, to make it lighter orange or something like that so let's just paint it here there so I'm going to make it more I'm going to add more white there And more yellow, of course. Let's put it on the top of it. There. And some white, mixing it with the yellow. So I'm going to divide the 
painting guys into two so this part will be submerged underwater sorry guys this is not an this is not an original idea I saw it, I saw this on Google I do not I forget the artist but yeah most uh, lots of artists are doing this kind of surreal paintings okay let's make this orange Probably get this idea are really mo um, mostly common with some other artists surreal artists yeah I'm not actually a surreal artist guys, I just I just paint a surreal painting sometimes. So let's make this part more orange in color. So that's the that's it. Here. Just blend it well guys. There. Okay. Yeah. And let's I'm going to so you should clean your brush first guys before mixing other colors I'm going to use some blue here and of course another red to make some purple and white to make it a lighter purple and let's put it here okay so let's put more red red guys will, will prevent the colors from turning uh, turning it to green yeah so that we uh, this part would won't be green yeah but it's turning green now <laughs> so I'm going to add some white making this part lighter there So all we have to do is just blend this part here. It's a little greenish now guys, but it's okay, this is a soil painting. There. That's it. Okay, what's next? So I'm going to put uh, the underwater color. So basically I'm going to make it dark underwater. And I'll still be using the blue here with some red to create some purple. Yes, that's it. Some blue violet underwater there. more colors I'm going to add more white there to make it uh, lighter Okay, and I'm going to add some more white and red there to make some light purple color. like the red color guys more white and blue so just blend uh, the colors to make it smooth there I like that
I'm going to add more white. Then I'm going to add some yellow waste color guys on the on this part. So there should be a little um some um transparency guys or something like that. It should look like a transparent color of water. So I'm going to add some yellow and blue color or greenish and white there. It's pretty a little colorful here. Yeah, I'm going to, instead of making it purple, I'm going to make it light green. Yes, that's it. More white. So we need to make the horizon a little straight, or it should be straight. Of course, it's a horizon. Yes. I'm not sure, guys, if I have a straight horizon. You can use a tape, guys. So that we can you have a guide for a better or for a straighter horizon. But there is path. You need to let it dry first. The color before putting the tape on it. You don't have to. You don't like to stick the the paint on your tape, guys. So you need to let it dry. Okay, so. I just have to make the horizon straight. Okay. I'm not sure if it's straight or something else. Yeah, I think I am okay with that. Yeah, that's fine for me. Okay, so we have now the horizon. Yeah. And I'm going to use a smaller brush, this is the number 8 flat brush. I'm going to use this dark color here. Dark purple. Yes. No, uh, a little dark blue or. Yeah, I. Yeah, dark purple is okay. So let's put some little waves here. There. This will divide um, the sea, guys. Yeah. So, guys, it's okay, guys, if it's not straight. That's okay. Anyway, this is uh, there are some waves on this. That's why it's not straight there. Okay. Yeah. How about that? Now we're going to add the island. I'm going to paint the island, guys, or the the background color of the of the of the castle 
So we're gonna need some blue and purple there. There. So we have now a dark purple color. So I'm going to plan to put it here. So I think I'm going to need I'm gonna need to plan guys. I'm gonna put the castle here. Someone's texting me. So here. So we need to we need to do we need to make it this straight guys. But you can have a little curves, yeah. To create some perspective. I'm not straight. So this will be the castle here, and still wet. So again, guys, this is just the background colors. So we have here another color, purple and blue. Let's paint the underwater extension of the, of the castle. So here. Let's put something here. And some rocks underwater. So it's still wet guys, that's why some paints are Actually I should have let it try But I'm going to continue here So all you do is just blend the colors. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to add more dark colors, blue and purple, blue and red. So, just blend the colors here, guys. There, and if you are painting with me now, just follow what I'm doing. There. That's it. Now I'm going to continue adding some details on the castle. Okay, then I'm going to add some more guys, like some distant mountains first. So I'm gonna need some orange here, red and yellow. There, and some white. Let's put some mountains here in the distant. So it should be a little orange guys. And let's have some white to make it a little misty. There. I'm going to put my highlights, guys, coming from the left side so the sun is shining from the left. I'm going to blend it a little here. Just so blend the edges, guys. There. Okay, and I'm going to mix for a very light color. With some white and some yellow. Very light mountains on the distance there. Yeah. Should have a little orange in it. Okay. Let's put some 
um, highlights on the water or some reflection guys on the water we need that so I'm gonna use some yellow here with some orange and white there more yellow more white here so let's add some reflection here and do it by making some horizontal strokes guys just some short horizontal strokes from left to from right to left or left to right there okay I'm going to add more red and white okay and also here Just do it slowly, guys. The water should be a little yellowish or reddish because the the sky is very yellow or a little orange or something like that, guys. It should have a reflection coming from the sun. Oh, coming from the sky. I'm sorry. And let's add some more white. I'll be using some pure white guys to create some very bright highlights here on the horizon and also here some reflection there Okay, so we have now the water. And also here. So again guys, the same strokes. Horizontal. Just do it softly. There. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like the I like the sky guys because it's very very bright. And really colorful. Okay. And also we need to add some some shades here or some reflection here from the from the castle. Okay. So we're gonna need this um, blue here with some red to make it a little purple or some blue violet color guys. Then we're gonna need to put some I can get the same strokes from left to right, small horizontal strokes to create the waves there this will be the reflection of the water Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to retouch a little here. Okay, that's it, guys. So I'm going to mix for a lighter. Yeah. 
Okay, to add some yellow on the existing color green here. Add some blue. And add more yellow. A uh, white, I'm sorry. And some yellow. And some white. More and more white here. And yellow. And white. Let's add some light color here, guys. Okay, that's too bright. Let me make it a little darker. There, so just glaze it, guys, a little. This part will be a little lighter. You can blend it with your fingers. Okay, and more here. Also here. So just blend it here. There. Just do it softly, guys, so that it will blend smoothly. I like this painting now, guys, because it's very color colorful. Okay, you can smudge it using your fingers. There. Like that. So it's still a little wet. Yeah, the castle is still wet. So what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, guys? <laughs> Maybe I'll just cover it with some paints. It's it will be a little wet and wet painting, guys. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So I'll be using this color here with some burnt shina there and some blue and some white this will going to create some reflection no um highlights on the castle there burnt shina yellow So I'm going to put the, the the sun guys on the left side. So basically, all the reflection or all the highlights should be from the left. All the highlights should be on the left, like this. There. Touch up more white to make it lighter. Just white and yellow and burnt umber there. So we need to be careful a little guys. Not in the details. Okay, that's it. And I'm going to put some more here. There. Okay. I'm not sure guys what will it be, what, what, will it, what kind of castle this will be. So I hope I give some justice on this. There. And this one.
ya. And also here. Okay, and some other details here. I just have to put details, guys. There. Yeah, does it look like a castle? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but yeah, it's a developed castle. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use a smaller brush so that I can have a smaller details. I'll be using this number six nylon front brush or handle. And more burnt shade and white. I'll just be using burnt shade and white, guys. With some yellow to make it yellowish in color because I'm going to make it because the, the sun is shining on that part, so it should be a little yellowish. Yeah, it should be golden, guys, the color of the highlights because we need to emphasize the sun on this painting, it should be an afternoon sun to here. There and here. Careful, guys, a little. There. And also here. Still wet, guys. I think I'm going to add more here. There. Then I'll be using the burnt shena and just the white guys, burnt shena and white with a little blue color there. And let's put some more details. I'm sorry, should I put here? Okay, but I'm going to put it later. This will be some rocks, guys. There. Okay. But I still need to put here uh, It's still wet yeah, It's really wet guys I need to let it dry So I'm gonna do first the other side 
here. I'm adding a little highlights on this part. And of course this one. And this one. Does it look like a castle, guys? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let it dry first before adding more details on this. But I'm going to do here. The bottom I'm going to add some highlights on the on this part guys the submerged part so I'll be using some blue color with some um, white and red let's make it a little reddish and some white there let's add more highlights here Also here. Okay, so I just had more highlights, guys, on this. Don't emphasize this part. looks nice yeah for me guys it looks nice then I'm going to use the, the smaller brush which is the number 6 flat brush and I'm going to mix for darker colors so one shena with some blue and red more red and more blue more blue there this is a dark color So let's start adding some dark tones guys on this part here. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just make this part dark guys. Okay, so we just have to blend more. I'm going to use the brown china with some dark color. Okay. 
So this part should be darker, guys. I'm actually transforming, transforming it to darker color, darker shade. There. So here. Okay. And here, let's emphasize some parts here. So I just have to blend guys. There. Okay. I'll just make this part straight. Let's not forget to put some windows. There. That's it. And also here. There. These are the windows, guys. So I'm just adding some dark color here. There. Okay, I think that looks like some buildings now. <laughs> yeah. But still put more. Some details here on the top. And what some white. Yeah. 
And then what's up here? Okay, and some so I'm going to put more highlights, guys. Yellow and white. There. But I'm gonna make it light, lighter, so I'm gonna add more white and yellow here. More yellow and red. Just add more highlights, guys. Anyway, this will be an old castle. There. Another highlight here. So just if you are painting with me now guys, just follow what I'm doing. And always remember guys just uh, you, you have all you have to do is just, um, just have fun while painting. Just enjoy guys while okay. So now guys I'm um, adding more highlights, this will make the painting more realistic, there, anyway guys this is an old castle so doesn't have to be perfect okay touch it yeah I think that looks like a castle now okay and let's put some reflection on the water guys I'll be using the same color with more white here Some waves, guys. Reflection of the waves. There. Okay. And here. There. 
some white reflection okay so we're gonna have to use more um, highlights here so I can just just follow what I'm doing and I'm just putting some more yellowish light highlights on this part to make it look like um, there are more waves or ocean waves or sea waves here water waves or something like that okay so I want to say guys just enjoy while you're painting do not do not um, do not stretch yourself okay so I'm going to mix with a darker color with some more blue and red to make it darker violet or purple okay so just mix it well and you just have to apply here on the center of the painting on this part guys to have some dark tones okay to separate the two worlds like the underwater and the world above the water okay okay that's it okay okay then I am thinking guys I'm putting the whale shark on the uh, below right part of the painting of course it will be underwater because it's a whale shark okay so I'll be mixing some dark um, violet guys with of course blue red and I'm gonna make it more dark okay I'll be using the dark colors dark tones dark purple with the red blue and little burnt amber or china okay so I'll just uh, put it here without the sketch so I'll just estimate guys we're gonna put the details so if you are painting with me just follow what I'm doing okay that's it so this will be the tail part and other dark colors Okay. So it should be a little bigger. Yeah. A little fatter. So if you're using um burnt umber guys, you can have you can just use um blue and burnt umber to make it dark. But I uh, actually like this is not so this is not that really dark. So I you, you just have to use um, blue and red to make it dark violet or dark purple okay and I'll, I am using the number um, 6 flat brush short handle you can use any small size brush guys as long as it's not that big and it can do the same job okay We're putting more here, adding more. I'll be adding the tail here. Okay, guys, so just follow what I'm doing if you are painting with me. That's it. So here, this will be the fin, guys, at the back of the whale, of the whale shark, and a small fin here. Okay. And also another small fin here at the bottom of the of the shark or the whale shark. 
and other big the biggest fin here and then the on the front of the shark front right as yes, front side of the shark okay so again guys just follow what I'm doing and always enjoy what you're doing guys especially painting is a stress um, stress free or anti-stress job or activity too I hope you are feeling okay when you're painting and always remember not to stress yourself okay then I'm going to add some white or lighter lighter um, purple here guys so again I'm just add white on the on the purple to make it lighter and put it on the on the shark's belly this part should be should be white but it's um it's dark so and it has um, a little distance from us so that should be the right color a little grayish yes, or something like that okay and another one here it should be a little lighter so again guys just add white to the existing purple color to make it lighter just add white something like this uh, you just have to mix it well I'm going to add more blue then I'm going to make this part lighter but not white guys just make it lighter um, a little bluish in color so I'm adding blue to make it a little bluish and also this part the fin the biggest fin okay and also here some highlights on the back of the shark okay and also here is it I'm going to make it lighter guys I just add white to make it lighter on the existing um, bluish color yeah, yeah. so uh, my advice guys is just follow what I'm doing and just enjoy while you're painting okay touch it so I'm going to add some white guys I'm going to put some dots or or pol polka dots on the on the back of the whale shark so I'll just use some white mix it with a little grayish color here and I'm using the number two liner brush or round brush guys okay okay sorry <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to zoom in so that we can see clearly the details of the whale shark so that we can you can focus on that part you can focus on that part and it will be easy for you to distinguish the the, the colors and of course it's bigger okay now it's gonna put more polka dots on the back of the shark okay so just use the dot technique or something like that you just like creating some dots on the back of the shark guys uh, something like this then as you saw guys the the back of the shark is a little the dots or the or the polka dots is, is a line or a line so you just have to do it like this okay and also the fin okay it's okay guys if it's not that perfect so just just um, follow what I'm doing you can actually put um, another shark guys or another well here you can you can you can find some reference to put your own well or a dolphin or whatever you want or killer whale or an orca 
or a shark or to white it's all up to you guys as long as you you like that and it's all up to you it's all creativity now and it's your painting so you will be the one to 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 decide what you want to put here okay there Put more dots here. Okay, so uh, I think that's it looks like a whale shark now. <laughs> it's not that um, solid, guys, not that great, but for me, it looks like a whale shark. And my time is a little limited here, so yeah, that will be good for now. I think so. <laughs> so I'm going to put, I'm going to focus here a little on this part on the right, on the left side, of the painting. And I am planning to put a boat here, guys, a sailing boat. Yeah, something like that. So let's focus here a little. This part. gonna be fun okay, okay. so we need to use some dark purple guys so just by mixing porcina blue and red to make it dark or similar to black but not that black guys we're not using black here okay so i'm going to put it here uh, i'm not sketching guys so i'll use the paint directly there so here So the, the boat guy is facing on the right side. Okay. There. Okay, I think I like that. So all we are, what we're doing right now is just we add the the first coat of the base color of the boat or the ceiling boat okay that's it Then we're gonna, add to, we're gonna add some sailing here guys by using some light color so the mixtures is just uh, the yellowish color guys like the highlights that we did a while ago okay again just follow what I'm doing guys actually um, it's hard to understand but but at the end you will know the shapes okay. so here I'm mixing some darker brown color oh no I mean lighter brown we can add some lines here and some highlights using a lighter brown or lighter brown shana okay <laughs> that's it there so I'll be mixing some um, bluish color or some bluish gray color guys by mixing the burn china blue and yellow and white then it's gonna put it here so since this part guys is um the back of the light so it will be a little darker darker than white so it should be a shade or a shaded part okay 
So I have here some um, lighter fa uh, lighter brown color or brownish color guys. So you can distinguish the color guys by watching the the um, the monitor on the left side, which is the which is the mixing plate or the palette um, colors. Okay. So I just make it fine here. Touch it. So you can now see the sailing guys of the boat. Then you're gonna mix for dark color. I'm gonna use this dark color here guys with and I'm going to create uh, I'm using the number zero liner brush guys. You can use number one or liner or triple zero triple zero for this job. Okay, so we just have to add some random lines here on the top of the boat of the sailing boat. Then you're gonna add some vertical lines crossing the the lines that we did a while ago. Yeah, it's just like a pole guys. Okay. Then some more lines on top of the ceiling boat ceiling. Yeah, some random lines again. There. And also here. There. Okay. That's it. So that I think it looks like um, a boat now, a selling boat. Okay, and it's distinguishable. Cool. So I'll be mixing some blue his color here, some purple again, <laughs> and I'm gonna add um, some darker shades here on the sailing part. Okay. Here also. Yes, to make it darker, guys. And some white or yellowish light color. Gonna add some lines here. There. Some highlights on the boat, or some other details here. Okay. Another here. So I just I will put some reflection guys on the on the on the water of course reflection of the boat. So I just use um the existing um violet color, lighter violet color on the palette. There, that's it. Okay, what else? So I'll try to zoom in guys so that we can see the full view of our painting. Okay. Oops. So I'm going to make it on the center. There. That's better. Then I'm going to use some dark color here. And I'm going to put I'm going to use the existing purple color here guys then I'm going to put some dots here which as you see it looks like some f f skull of fish on the or behind the, the whale shark so this is supposed to be a uh, skull of fish guys 
but actually guys you can decide whatever you want whatever you want to put or other creatures you want to put here guys you can put some turtles sharks or other fish or other, other creatures you found underwater or under the sea okay so now i think i'm planning to add some corals or some yeah corals guys on the left side so i'll be using the brown china blue and red to create some dark colors or uh, almost similar to black if you are you have, if you have black guys you can use black but now i'm not recommending you to use black so just follow what i'm doing okay just follow what colors i am mixing there so again guys just creating some random mountains here <laughs> and i'm going to add some blue color to make it bluish in color okay so again guys do not use a black just use this kind of color just it will be some bluish color something like this I am using the number 8 and nylon flat brush guys, long handled. Okay. Then we're gonna put some seaweeds here. Yeah, just create the um, verticals of vertical strokes guys and some horizontal for the corals this will be some corals guys and another um, seaweed here longer that's it okay another coral kind of seaweed here okay guys once again just enjoy while you're painting and do not stretch yourself there and I'm going to add more seaweed here guys longer or bigger seaweeds okay I like that So I'll be mixing some light brown guys, so just use the brown china and white Then just apply the highlights here This will be some rocks and corals or whatever on the on this coral reef There so just follow my strokes guys more here there okay there and we used some reddish color so just use the red and the uh, bronchina and white and let's create some pinkish corals here some pink corals there do not make it so much so visible guys it's okay then I'm gonna add some yellow on the on the orange and the red to make some of course um, orange corals that's it and also here on this part Okay. Now I'm going to use some blue, so I'll be making some um, green corals. So yeah, just use the blue, yellow, and um, white. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, that's it. And also here there is some green rocks. 
puzzle here. Okay, that's it. And another here. Okay. And also here, guys. So again, guys, just follow what I'm doing, guys, and enjoy while you're painting. Another here. So we're just blending the colors, guys, to make it smoother. Okay. And I'm going to use some yellow and the existing lighter yellow here to create some lighter or highlights of the yellow col corals or whatever rocks or seaweeds or or something like that. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So I think I am done guys with my with my surreal or fantasy landscape painting. So I hope you enjoy guys while you're painting or you get something out of this tutorial. I hope you learn something. So that will be my success guys if you learn. And my advice guys is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. That's why that's why I'm using limited colors in my palette. Because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching today. And I think I, I really like the result guys. It's very color colorful. You can see the warm and cold colors um, colliding in the center. That's very really good. Okay. So please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. I wanna see you guys, thanks, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all.